Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're back with Lucy Wang, a solution architect in AWS TechU grad program. Luce, before you started your graduate role here at AWS, you were an intern for about eight months. So can you start by telling our audience what advice you have for students who are joining AWS as an intern this summer? Sure. Thanks again, Ali, for having me here today. So when I was an intern, I actually wrote an article on LinkedIn sharing six lessons from my first six months of the internship with AWS. And as I was looking through it yesterday, there were a few points that really stood out. So the first point, which is what I'd like to share with all of you today, is to be an intern, but not just an intern. And what I meant by that was to be an intern, you know, be curious, enthusiastic and willing to learn, but never think, oh, I can't do this, I'm just an intern. You know, saying yes to opportunities that challenge you, even if you don't feel qualified or confident, will really enable you to leave your comfort zone and pick up new skills. Another point I mentioned in the article is to set measurable goals to develop your skills and let others know about these goals. Goal setting is probably something you've heard over and over again, but the key is to let your manager and colleagues know about them. Because if you're open about what skills you want to develop during the internship, others will be able to point you into the right direction and think of you when the opportunity to develop these skills comes along. And finally, always remember to ask for feedback on a regular basis, not just at the end. Formal feedback is usually provided towards the end of an internship, but be sure to check in regularly with your manager and people you work with to see if you're on the right track. By doing this, you'll know what you're doing well in and what areas you can work on so that you get the chance to improve as you go along the internship. Louis, thank you so much for sharing. Those are some really great tips. And as many of us continue to work from home with the COVID situation, it sometimes takes a little longer for new starters to, to connect with their team and get to know the people in their teams. So do you have any tips for students who are starting their internship, possibly virtually, coming up in December? It's definitely harder for interns and new starters to connect with their teams virtually compared to in person. And I face this challenge as well. So the biggest tip I have is to spend some time every day connecting with people inside and outside your team. As an intern, you have access to the calendars of some really amazing and inspiring colleagues. So definitely use this opportunity to schedule one-on-one -on -one chats to hear about the career journeys and ask any questions you have. Remember to also follow up with the people you connect with. You could send a quick message to check up on how they're doing or set up a catch up after that initial coffee chat. Thanks, Lou. So, I mean, before we let you go, I was just wondering, looking back at your internship, is there anything that you would have changed or done slightly differently if you had the opportunity? Yeah, good question. So I wish I was a bit more involved in the different affinity groups and communities at AWS. I kind of had that mindset that since I was an intern and wasn't sure how long I was going to be at the company for, that I didn't have much value I could provide. But that's really not the case because as an intern, you have a lot more free time and there's a lot you can do to help out. And it's also a really great way for you to meet people in other teams. So if I was to go back, I definitely start getting involved earlier. Remember to also participate in as many intern events and team bonding activities as you can, because in the end, those are honestly the memories you'll take out of the internship. Louis, thank you so much for joining us back on the show this week. If anyone has any suggestions from what you'd like to hear next week, please pop them in the comments below and we'll create a video. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ali. Bye.